Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an enemy that could detect, attack, and chase the player. It's just as simple and if you enjoy this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe, it will mean a lot to me. Now, let's get on with the video. Also, I'd like to mention that if you have any other way to do this, you can comment down below so everyone can refer to it. So first, let's create the enemy's body. So here's my question for you. So what will the enemy shape be? So A, a cube, B, a cylinder, and C, a capsule. Actually, it's none of that. The model of the enemy will depends on the model of our player. And it should be however that fits your game the most. But for my game, because our player model is a capsule, so I will do the capsule. So to do this, you just need to duplicate by Control D on the player and rename this to enemy and delete all of the scripts on the enemy. Just like that. You can also move it to different place so and you can change the color. I have a bunch of material right here, so I'm just gonna apply one to it. And you can keep the pistol because we still need the en enemy to actually react when it detects a player. So you can also change this to enemy body. One more thing, you need to actually delete the main camera so that it doesn't have any error between this camera and this camera when we actually play the game. So to make the enemy detect the player, first you need to create a big sphere around the enemy and then if the player touch that sphere, then the enemy gonna get the signal and do the action. So for example, you, the enemy can chase the player or it can stay at one place and start shooting the player. So what we want to do is to create a sphere like this around the enemy so that whenever the player enter the sphere or collide with it, the enemy will do some action like shooting or start following the player. So now let's create our sphere. So you can right click 3D object and hit a sphere. And you can name this check sphere. So because we want to use this sphere for checking. So we want the, our check sphere to be the same position as our enemy. So let's reset its position so that it directly in the enemy. So and also because it's the enemy child, it will always move wherever the enemy move. And now let's scale it upwards. And this will depends on your enemy detection radius. And I think for me this is fine for now because I don't want our player to be detected by the enemy right when it starts. Okay, but now how can we actually remove this? And as I said before, let's remove the mesh renderer components so that we just have the mesh collider so it can still collide with our player. So you can see that because there's a sphere, it's a solid object. So the player actually, the enemy actually bounces up like this. So to fix this, you need just need to go to the check sphere and turn on its trigger. By doing this, you can actually use a script to get the output get the input so for example if you move in now you can actually move into the sphere and you can, if you add a script you can actually get what the enemy touch or collide with oh and actually I forgot to delete the, the weapon and script so let's just quickly do that and now let's create our script so let's go to script right click create C sharp script and let's name this the detection uh, the player detection system okay let's double click to open that and now uh, let's delete the start and update method because we don't want to use for that for now and we want to use void on trigger enter so what this means is that it will get the input or the output from its trigger right here because we took it. So now it will get the collide when it collide to something. So for example, if I would say if other dot so this is our 
it, it will represent our input or actually output so this will represent our output and so if other dot name is equal to our player body let's say and we want to print that detect player detect with a semicolon at the end and now let's add the script to the our chick sphere and now if you run the program and start moving towards the play the enemy you can see that there's a message say player detect which is perfect and that is it for episode one and in part two we are going to program the action of the enemy when it detects the player so it can start chasing the player or shoot the player so i'll see you guys in the next episode bye